Hey guys, this is Al from BoxBreakings.com and uh, we are here for the first 2010-11 uh, Elite Black Box from Panini uh, Basketball Box Break. It started out as a team break, ended up as a reverse auction just to sell it out quicker. I know it was just sitting there pretty stagnant, so decided to put an end date on it today, um, December 4th, and it is December 4th and it is 9.57 p.m. East Coast time. Uh, thanks for joining me today. And you can see the style sheet, kind of funny about this one. Um, I don't know if anybody caught it, but uh, there are one, two, three, four, five different people with four teams each, which is the most teams in the in the break. So uh, um, I don't really know. I think there are a couple of different varieties of um, multiplayer cards, probably some quad quad autos, maybe some octa autos. I really don't know, but I'm sure there's something in there. So it'll be interesting if we do uh, find something to to. to and see what the tiebreaker is going to be. So your box of uh, black box, first one that I've got here. Um, I've got one more in stock, so I'm, I'm going to put that one up right right after this one. And uh, I did send you the serial number, and there it is right there. And it is one three nine two nine three one zero four. So that is your number for the break. And uh, with that, let's uh, let's bust into it and see what we can get. I'm going to zoom out and down so you can see the box. And we will break into it and see what we'll, we'll send home to you guys. Um, and there's a couple of uh, different... Let's see here. Let's see if I can get on camera. It should slide right out. We've all watched some breaks for the product, so there's your box. And you guys ready? Here we go. So it reminds me of kind of like Inception, Inception packaging. A little bit different. Alright. Oh, there's a really thick Mondo card right there. That should be cool. Um, and basketball seems to do it differently. It seems like they put their big cards up on top, where more uh, football is the uh, the opposite. Let me see what we got here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to front. Um, we'll we'll obviously start with the Walden here or Walton, sorry, uh, Bill Walton for the Clippers. So we'll start there and coming from the back. So we've got a Monta Ellis. And uh, that one is 64 of 99. I'll show you what the Bill Walton is afterwards. Uh, next card coming from the back, we have Darren Collison. Dual jersey, looks like. Dual relic. And that is 50 out of 99. And then we have a Michael Beasley dual jersey. That is 32 out of 99. And... Then we have a Kevin McHale jersey. Looks like a patch. That is upside down there. Uh, six out of 49. And then start some autographs. Looks like we have a uh, Luke uh, Rid Ridnauer. Ridnauer? Don't know. On card auto. Um, number 23 of 49 and then that looks kind of nice we have a AC green um, looks like my uh, fabricated um, patch auto and that's for the Lakers of course that is number 40 of 99 And let's see what we got here. We're gonna check it out. Looks like a. All right, we got. That looks pretty nice. I don't know if that's gonna be a one of one or not, but NBA patch auto, passing the torch. Um, Elvin Hayes, for the Rockets. And Patton's there. Yeah. They're, okay. So there's another guy on the back. So passing the torch it doesn't really make sense, but uh, that's why. Okay, so Elvin Hayes, obviously the old guy. Um, LaMarcus Eldridge 
It should be pretty good. Um, number 9 of 25. So I'm surprised that they actually made 25 of these things. So it's got to be just uh, fabricated. I don't know if that's the actual... Autographs are, are guaranteed. Yeah, I don't know if that's the actual NBA logo from their jerseys or not. Probably not, but I don't know for sure. Um, so, But that's nice. Dual auto, really thick card. So we have the Trailblazers and we have the Rockets. So let's see who's going to take this one home. Uh, looks like Allen did pretty well here. The Lakers, the Celtics there, so not too bad for Allen. So we've got the Rockets with Lars and the um, Trailblazers. So Travis has the Trailblazers. Ay, ay, ay. Um... That is interesting. Both have four teams. One one player on each side. And I think in my rules I actually have the uh, serial number side, the tiebreaker, but I've got to check that out. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a tough one, I'll tell you. Um, I am going to have to see who is going to get this and I will let you know but I think it, I believe I have serial number as being the front and quite honestly I don't know why because on this one not, it, it actually looks like the back of the card um, and I do say front to back also so that's going to be a tough one I don't know if we're going to have to do something there where we uh, have some sort of a extra tiebreaker or not because that's it's hard to find out well I would say this is the front by the looks of the cards, but I do say something about the serial number, I believe. I, I've got to ch go check in. I've, it's never actually come down to this, so i got to go check and see if I carried that over from uh, eBay verbiage or if I have something else different on the site. So let me um, let me go off and find out, and I will uh, let the two people, Travis and Lars, um, know what the uh, the outcome is, and, and maybe we can agree to something there. So, Well, uh, that's it. Um, interesting break to say the least. Uh, thank you for uh, joining me on it, um, and we will see you back here shortly with, uh, with some more basketball. Take care, everyone.